Well, move on from Daniel. We're going to go to the last stretch. There are three themes that are in all 12 of the next books we're going to look at. Number one, the Minor Prophets declare, this is called a mega theme. That's an overarching theme of the Minor Prophets. God is in control. They do more than declare it, those Minor Prophets. They show God's sovereign hand everywhere. Secondly, the Minor Prophets declare that God is holy. A comprehension of his utter holiness was the impetus for their scathing indictments of sin. Wherever the sin was found among God's people or in foreign lands, it was an affront to God. And finally, God is in control, God is holy, but finally God is lovingly just. Sin always destroys, sin will always be judged, but God always will restore those who come to him. Let's go through the minor prophets. The next book after Daniel, Hosea. Uh, Hosea is all about worshiping our faithful God. Hosea had a life of grief. His only beloved wife, Gomer, was persistently unfaithful in their marriage. This sorrow in his marriage gave Hosea a unique perspective with which to speak about the parallel unfaithfulness of Israel for their Lord. The compassionate heart of God, with no diminishing his holy standard, is seen in this book. Hosea paints a powerful portrait of the coming love and holiness of God, perfectly revealed in Christ. There is moral and spiritual bankruptcy in the nation, Sin is unashamedly practiced. God is abandoned. Worship of the true living God is replaced with false and lifeless idols. But God's faithfulness is shown. Look at uh, chapter 8 and verse 14. I'll show you some of his faithfulness in this book as we want to worship our faithful God. In chapter 8 and verse 14, it says, Israel, you forgot your maker, but I won't forget you. In 8.14. And in 7.2, though Israel is faithless, God is forgiving. In uh, Hosea 4, 5, even though they neglect God's word, he'll give it to them. In 7, 13, although they compromise his plan, he'll still carry it out. And in chapter 4 and verse 1, if they're disobedient, he'll discipline them. What does the Lord say? He says in 6, 1, and I'll close with Amos. Let me get, excuse me, Hosea. No wonder I couldn't find the right verse. Hosea 6, 1. He says this, Come, let us return to the Lord, for he has torn us, but he will heal us. He has wounded us, but he will bandage us. He will revive us after two days. He will raise us up on the third day, kind of a veiled allusion to the resurrection of Christ. The Lord is faithful. We should be worshiping our faithful God.